Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Miss Glow Glow Spiritual Motivation. I'm back with another video. This time I am back with part two to walking God's way. Yes, that the other um, Bible study series that I did on yesterday, uh, walking God's way, was so much. Oh, it was so so inspiring to me that I I couldn't help. I had to come hurry up and come on back with uh, part two to walking God's way, and we are coming from Isaiah chapter 30 we're going to be starting at the 15th verse because we only got like 33 verses left we're going to be starting at the 15th verse and to just uh go back through and give you guys a recap we was uh talking about cover cover with a covering meaning to form an alliance with god and we we're going to be talking about we talked about god was not happy with his people because they were seeking power and protection in other nations that are other worlds and other things instead of seeking him for it also we talked about how we have to seek direction and guidance from God rather than seeking direction and guidance from other sources. Sources that is not pleasing to God. God wants us to be totally reliable on him. Okay. I just say, so if you hear me belting and all that kind of stuff, it haven't been that long since I ate. So, yeah. And then we also talk about how God warned Judah that turning to Egypt and other nations, how it could not save them. The only way they could be saved was through God, period. And then um, that's it. Let's go ahead on and uh, say a prayer and jump right into these scriptures, guys. I love you. Happy Sunday to you all. God bless you all. I hope everybody is happy. Uh, feeling good and good spirits, uplifted, enjoying your family, enjoying yourself. You only got one life to live. Guess what, guys? You can live that life, be happy, and still be covered under the blood of Jesus and still love him and still walk in his way. You know, some things we have to do away with. You know, when we get delivered from some things, you just have to do away with those things. You know, you got you give them to God, you let him keep them. OK, some things you get delivered from. You don't want to go back and pick it up. Do that make sense? OK, so let's say prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I come before you on this platform with an open heart and a bowed down head, Lord, asking you to forgive me for all of my sins. Forgive me for every sin that I have done, Lord. Forgive my known sin and my unknown sins. And even, God, forgive the secret sins that I've hidden in my heart. Forgive my, my sins for my youth, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, I ask that you speak through my mouth and let every word that come out of this mouth be words that come from Jesus. Hallelujah. Let them be words that's motivating, uplifting, Lord, and also that's edifying to you, God. In the name of Jesus, we ask that that you let your word be a blessing to the readers, hearers, viewers, listeners, in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. I thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you all, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to to come and sit here. I know this channel is not much, but guess what? It is what God say it is. And I know that my my channels, neither one of them, because they both pretty spiritualized. Neither one of my channels is not really growing. Excuse me, guys, like they should. Uh, like I think they should, because I think I have some great content based on what my content is about. You know, I'm a spiritual person. On this channel, I bring nothing but spiritual motivation and videos. And the other channels, I do uh, games here and there, challenges here and there, mukbangs, and spiritual motivation. So uh, I even have did a reaction video. I'm going to start back doing reaction videos on the other channel, Miss Glow Glow Loves Love, to certain videos. Some videos I would not 
ever do a reaction to because I don't want to do a reaction to no video that's out of content with my spirit. So with that being said, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, leave me a comment down below, thumbs up this video and share, share, share with anybody and everybody. If you are already a member of the spiritual angels, welcome back, welcome back. Thumbs up the video, leave me a comment down below and sit back, relax and enjoy this ride. So we are back with part two of walking God's way. And the, the thing scripture came from Isaiah 30, 21, and it say, whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it, okay? This is the way, walk in it. And if I read it again, it say, and the Lord shall cause his glorious Oh, wrong one. My bad. I, I'm going too fast. I'm getting ahead of myself. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. And when you turn to the right and when you turn to the left. That's it. And what that scripture is saying is saying that when the people of Jerusalem left God's path, he would correct them. When the peoples of Israel of Jerusalem, when they left God's path, you know, when they stirred off a path, got off the right road and got on the wrong road, so to say they took the wrong turn. When they got off God's path, he would correct them, you know, to bring them right back and line them up so they can get right back on that straight and narrow road, okay? He will do the same for us if we let him. But when we hear his voice of correction, we must be willing to follow it. Yes, we must be willing to follow it. Now, let's go ahead and get to reading this because it's not a lot. Let's go ahead and get to reading this. It says, starting at the 15th verse, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 15. It says, For thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest, ye shall be saved in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength, and ye would not. But ye said, No, for we will flee upon horses, therefore shall ye flee, and we will ride upon the swift, therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. One thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one, at the rebuke of five shall flee, shall ye flee, till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain and as an ensign on a hill. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you, and therefore will he exalt that he may have mercy upon you, for the Lord is a God of judgment. Blessed are they that wait on the Lord. So we know right there that the, that God is a God of judgment. And then he even said, blessed are those that wait on the Lord. Are you willing to wait on the Lord? I am willing to wait, I say, on the Lord. I will wait on the Lord. I will wait on the Lord because great is the Lord and he's worthy. He's great. Great is the Lord and he's worthy. He's great. Great is the Lord and he's worthy. He's great. Is he great enough for you to wait up on him? Wait again, I say, wait on the Lord. Okay. Then it say, for the peoples of, for the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry. But when he shall hear it, he will answer thee. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet ye shall not, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left. Ye shall defile also covering of thy graven images of silver and the ornaments of thy mortal gold. Thou shalt cast them away as menstruous cloth, and shall say unto it, Get thee hence. Then shall he give the rain thy seed, and thou shalt sow the ground 
sow the ground withal, and the bread of the increase of the earth, it shall be fat and plenteous, and that day shall the cattle feed in large pastures. The oxen like wine and the yarn asses that the that the ear the ground shall eat clean provender, which had been winnowed and with shovels and with the fan, and there shall be upon every high mountain and every high hill rivers and streams of water in the day of the great slaughter which the towers found. Moreover, the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold. And the light of the seven days, and in that day the Lord binded up the breach of his peoples and healed the stroke of their wound. Behold, the name of the Lord cometh far, burning with anger, and the burden thereof is heavy. His lips are full of indignations, and his tongue as a devouring fire. And his breath as an overflowing stream shall reach to the midst of the neck to sift the nations with the sieve of vanity. And there shall be a brother in the jaws of the people causing them to err. Oh, my God. Ye shall have a song as in the night when the holy solemnity is kept. Solemnity is kept and gladness of heart as when one goeth with the pipe to come into the mountains of the Lord to the mighty one of Israel. And the Lord shall call his glorious voice to be heard and shall shew the lighting down of his arm and with the indignation of his anger and with all the flame of a devouring fire with scattering and tempest and hailstone. For through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down with smoke with the rod. And and in every place where the ground staff, staff shall pass, which the Lord shall lay upon him, it shall be with tabrets and harps and in bridles of shaking, and will he fight with it? For the top fit is ordained of old, yea, for the king is prepared. He hath made it deep and large, the power thereof is fire and much wood, the breath of the Lord, like a stream of brimstone, doth kindle it. That was awesome. We do not want the anger of the Lord to come upon us. When you know that you have done wrong, it is good to repent quickly. Because if you don't, all can be said is woe unto you or woe unto me. It is so easy to repent so that you can be forgiven. I just read about how many times are we supposed to be forgiven? How many times are we supposed to forgive peoples? And I read that so long, and I always said that I was told from a little bitty child up that the Lord forgives you 70 times, 77 times a day. But that was the Lord was telling his disciples that that is how many times they are supposed to forgive their sisters and brothers. He said, forgive them 70, but seven times a day. I, and I'll let when you multiply, they come up to be 490 times a day that you should be able to forgive somebody. The word of God is true. It's right. And it is justified. So if, if God can forgive us, surely, surely, this thing must be off. Surely we can forgive too. God is a good God, peoples. He done made a way for us. He have made a way for us to be forgiven and to be able to forgive. And it's not hard. It's not a hard thing to do. So just like we want God to forgive us, we have to forgive others. So therefore, that is why I picked this, this um, topic For, um, to talk about walking in God's way because if we, in order for us to walk in God's way we have to be able to forgive others we have to be able to love others 
First of all, we have to have love in our heart because God is love. And in the, in the beginning, God was love and God is love. Period. Period. So we have to walk in God's way. We have to, we have to um, mold ourselves and, you know, model ourselves after God. Okay, and it's not hard because he said in his word, the way is so clear, even a fool could not err in it. So it's not hard. It's just a matter of us giving up fleshly, pleasurable things of this world. That's it. That's it. If you are addicted to sex, it's going to be hard for you to give it up. If you are addicted to drugs, it's going to be hard for you to give it up. If you are addicted to overeating, it's going to be hard for you to give it up. If you are addicted to being a liar, it's going to be hard for you to tell the truth. If you messy and you've been messy a long time, it's going to take some time for you to get straight. You know, it's nothing impossible when it comes to God. Nothing. Nothing is impossible. And I'm just here to serve you guys. Notice that we can walk in God's way. We can ask God, you know, to guide us, you know, to take us through our ups and downs and, and to deliver us when we facing a loss or, you know, when somebody mistreat us or abuse us or use us. God will guide us through. He will deliver us from it all. He will, he'll help us. He will help us to trust and to follow his ways. And that way we can listen to his voice for guidance. We can. God will guide us. He's not going to leave. But he's, God said, I would not have you to be ignorant. Okay? He did not create us, create us to be ignorant. So I want you guys to know that. And I, I love sharing things with you guys because it, it's not just for you, it's for me. You know, it's for me. I am still trying to reach perfection. I'm, I'm striving for perfection. And that's what we have to do. We have to keep striving and striving and striving. We got to keep pulling that rope pulling that rope, trying to get to the hill up here, trying to get to the top of the hill from where all our help come from. So we got to keep climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. And, and while we are trying and still climbing, guess what? Jesus is right there with us saying, come on, I got you. Just come on, keep coming. Don't let go. Don't look back. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Just follow me. Follow me. And that's it. Everything we want can be ours. Everything we want can be ours. So when, what it all boils down to, what we was just talking about is uh, walking God's way is that he was just telling the peoples that it was wrong for Judah to, for, for, him, for them to look at other peoples uh, for help. It was wrong. They should have been trusting in God and looking to him for help, calling on him. OK, they was trusting in man instead of trusting in God. God want us to trust in him, not man. Man don't have no heaven or no hell to put us in. We can't go and pray to man for man to deliver our children out of trouble if they get in trouble, or to deliver our loved ones out of trouble, or, or to, uh, to heal our loved ones if they, are, if they are sick and suffering. We have to go to God, not man. God said, trust no man but him. And that's what we have to do. We have to stand firm on our faith. God want us to stand firm on our faith, just like as if it was a grain of mustard seed. Okay? That's what he want. 
and he said they were trusting in man instead of God. Judah sought protection from those who had far less power than God. Both, he said, both Egypt and Judah would fall as a result of their arrogance. Trusting in man is going to cause you to fall. Trusting in God is going to cause you to rise up. They were serving their own interests instead of God. When we trust in other people, we are serving our own interests, not God's. Hey, don't judge me. Judge his word if you want to judge it. It's God's word. It's not mine. I'm just delivering it. Okay? Then it says... Uh, and thus they did not even consult him. They violated God's stipulation in Deuteronomy 17 and 16. Let's go. Let's see what that about. Deuteronomy 17. Let's see what that about before we end this video. Deuteronomy 17. Let's see what that is about. Deuteronomy 17 and 16. It said, But he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the peoples to return to Egypt, but the end that he should multiply horses, for as much as the Lord has said unto you, ye shall henceforth return no more that way. No more that way. So what it is, God was not encouraging Israel to appoint a king as a ruler to nation. He was actually against the idea because he was their king. The, the, what I just read was concerning people's wanting God to appoint somebody to be a king. And he was against that because he was actually their king. Okay, so it's the same thing. Walking God's way. Walking God's way. Three, it said they did not want to pay the price of looking to God and repenting of their sinful ways. That's what it all boils down to. That's what it is. That's what it all boils down to. You don't want to walk God's way because you do not want to pay the price of looking to God and repenting for your sin, for your sinful ways. That's why people don't want to walk God's way, follow after God, trust in God wholeheartedly because they do not want to repent of their sinful ways. They don't want to give up fleshly desires. They don't. They don't want to give it up. People don't want to give up. They don't want to change their ways. When somebody want to change their ways and when they get serious about God, it's going to change. They're going to change. Okay? When we have a problem, it is good to seek help. But we must never bypass God or his previous directions to us. We must never bypass God. God is our only help. He would bless other people to help us. He would send us a help, but he's our only help. Okay? Then it said, someday these people would throw their idols away, recognizing that they were nothing but man-made objects. This is awesome. Well, that concludes the end of part two of Walking God Way. I hope and pray that you all got something out of it. So let's just close it out with a prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I want to thank you for the word we just read from Isaiah chapter 30, 15, verse through the 31st verse. Lord, I ask that you bless your word and let your word be a blessing to the readers, hearers, doers, listeners, learners. God, in the name of Jesus, let somebody got something out of this word, Lord. I ask that every time I come on this platform, that you decrease glow and increase the spiritual man. Hallelujah. So that people don't see me, that they will see the Jesus that's in me. And God, I ask that you bless everyone that look at this video, watch this video, click on this video. Bless them and their family and keep them safe. Protect them of all hurt, harm, and danger. And until the next time, God. I love you. I thank you. I thank you.
I thank you, God, for your word, for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus Christ's holy name, amen. With that being said, guys, we are ending this video. Remember, read Isaiah 30. And guess what? Walk in God's way and not your way. Oh, I'm going to walk in the way of the Lord. I'm going to walk in the way of the Lord. As I take a step, one, two, three, and four, I'm walking in the Lord, walking in the Lord. I'm going to walk, walk, walk in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. I was have a blessed, 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 blessed Sunday evening. I'll see you guys on the next spiritual motivation video. Have a good night. God bless you. Stay safe. And guess what, guys? We are all under one God, one nation, one love. Peace. And until the next video, stay safe. And remember, God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son. Peace. I love you all. Happy Sunday.